What's going on, Workforce? Brian here. Chris here. And today we're talking about Loot and Scoot. This comes from Wink over on Twitter. Thanks, Wink, for sending us this link asking, Hey, I came across this Reddit thread about farm parties in Final Fantasy XIV that you could possibly use as a decent talking point for you guys. OB brings up an interesting question, and I think there's some equally interesting replies. So, Chris, why don't you take us through the post itself, and then we can talk about it as it relates to us and our community here in North America. So it's not new. It's not new. Um, etiquette varies server to server, data center to data center, person to person. Um, it's all over the place. But Diamond Extreme has brought up a change in the way people expect things. And so uh, anytime there's something that can drop a mount or something like that, the question becomes, whether it be maps or anything, mm -hmm. what is your obligation to that party? Uh, and so if the mount has a drop rate of one in 10, are you guys agreeing to stay till everybody gets a mount? Are you going to keep showing up at this set time? Um, are you guys going to do a specified number of runs? And when you get your loot, are you suddenly going to realize, oh my gosh, look at the time. I got to go. Uh, and so the, the article is basically pointing out that they believe that there's a, a stark difference in the way it's done on Japanese servers versus NA servers. Um, I don't know if that's data-based. I don't know if that's just based on their impressions, but I do know there are cultural differences in the way we use tools and the way etiquette functions from server to server, especially when you cross language and cultural barriers. Uh, I, the question is like, what do you owe as far as etiquette? If you get what you need um, in a game, sometimes that's mid dungeon. Mm -hmm. Do you have to finish the content? Just bounce. Do you have to finish the agreed number of runs? Or are you kind of done? You got what you needed. Best of luck, guys. I'll see you next time. The um, I think, oh man, there there's been times where that I've done that. I've I've looted and scooted, and not because I actually I well, I want. It's literally in my life with family, friends, and just the way that the world works out comes down to of like, hey guys, yeah, we're in we're in on this. We're gonna get everybody a mount. We're gonna run until we see three drops or we're going to run five times and that's kind of agreed on. And most of the time, if I, I, I avoid those, if I know that I might not be able to commit to that. So that's specifically saying like, Oh, if I see that kind of ad, do I have a couple of hours that I can make sure that I'm a part of this? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and take part. Uh, but there's been a couple of hand times and we've actually seen this even in my parses when doing a raid where it's like, yeah, I can sit down and play everybody in this household it's running like a fine tuned machine. Speaking of fine tuned machines, is there a hidden phrase or a shout out that we forgot <laughs> for this? Post? There is. This video is going to be brought to you by Falinar. Falinar, thank you so much for bringing us this video. You are fantastic. Thanks yeah. for hanging out over there on Twitch. Cheers, Thal uh, Falinar. Anyway, so back to kind of my point where, and then all of a sudden, you know, it, it erupts into total chaos and I feel horrible, but I do say I am so sorry. And typically it happens before any loot's dropped and that actually works out real well. But there's been a couple of times where it's like, oh, wow. And then I happen to get the roll and then all of a sudden that chaos breaks down. Something unexpected happens and then I feel bad. So I, there is a sense of like, oh, man, I am so sorry because it looks the optics of it are just the worst. There's no defense. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's, yeah. They're yeah. like, guys, I swear I'm a good guy. I, I promise you, like. Like These the kid is bleeding and I have to go take care of this. That's the priority right now. Uh, I'm so sorry, but you know, it is what it is. And I, I just try to avoid that. In fact, that's one of the reasons why, like as the kids, have, uh, you know, when, when Maddie was first born, it was a lot easier to do that kind of content, to have that kind of dedication. Cause there wasn't a lot of mobility, especially when right. you put them down for the night. Now, like, right. you know, I could be needed even late at night. So I've kind of shifted my content and the focus of what I find enjoyable to kind of match that. So I'm not a loot scoot type of, you know, loot scoot and boogie. That's the thing in my mind that keeps playing. Um, but that is how it, that's, that's what I thought. What do you think, Chris? I think it has a lot to do with setting expectations, right? And so uh, map parties are a really great example of this. Everybody has their own etiquette. In our free company, um, the way we've historically run maps, we let strangers in, everybody brings a map. We rotate through uh, so that everybody uses their maps before everybody starts using second maps or third maps or however far the party's gonna go. So everybody does have to use their map. For some reason, people, there is an oddly, oddly high level of people who suddenly have to go when it's their turn. Um, but maps aren't that expensive. And then on the outside of the instance, all loot goes to the person to pay for their map inside the instance because you can't control when the instances pop. We do everybody 
uh, needs on everything. And the reason you do that instead of greed is it if everybody greeds, all it takes is one person going, oh, but I really want that. I'll <laughs> yeah. jump the line. You can't out need somebody. So everybody needs on everything. Everybody does the highest possible role. Um, and then, and it doesn't matter how much you actually need it. Uh, everybody needs on everything and it just distributes it. And, and there are going to be winners and losers. There's mm -hmm. nights where I make back double the cost of my maps and somebody else in the group makes 10 times the cost of their maps. It is what it is. Um, it, I think in my mind, that's the agreement. Etiquette dictates that we make one full loop of maps. We say, is everybody down for another loop? A few people go, well, I'm only gonna be on for another 20 minutes, I'll step out. We replace them and we do another loop of maps. And you do that until people are done with maps. Um, extreme farming, what, what's a bummer is that the hardest part is filling up a party of like-minded individuals. So you don't wanna have to fill a party between each and every run, which means if every run dropped them out, you wouldn't have to wanna go back to party finder between each run. And so I think setting out and saying, a, for me, what would make it more appealing is we're gonna run this five times, eight times, 10 times. It's a one in four chance. We're gonna run it eight times so we can guarantee that we see one. And then after that, we'll reevaluate. But the way to do that would be to communicate that in the party finder tab. If it is not communicated, it is assumed you're agreeing to run it one time. That is the default. Um, one so, time, two fails, and we're done. <laughs> yeah, and so I think if you have expectations there, we have a section where you can say, this is a learning party. Uh, that doesn't mean people do it. Learning parties regularly fall apart after the first or second wipe. Regularly. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, and, whoa, whoa, whoa! When you said wipe, I thought we were going to five percent wipe, and then we were going to come back in full and instant clear. I had no idea that you meant in a learning party that you were going to be learning. That's that's not for me. But by blind party, you meant you hadn't seen the content. So I mean, there's always going to be somebody who just doesn't read it. They just see party, join party, party falls mm -hmm. apart. Right. But ideally, in a perfect world, we would have a way of communicating here's what our intention is. We're all like-minded individuals. We're all going to fill that intention and then we're all going to go our separate ways. I will tell you that's rare enough that in games when I've done that sort of thing, if you know you're going to do more map parties in the future, that's a great use of your friends list. Mm -hmm. Wow, that worked exactly as we all expected. Next time those people are on, I'd like to ask if they want to do that again because gambling is gambling and I have no idea what's going to happen the next time I form a group. So I'm going to write and say Anastasia, I'm butchering the name, apologize, but they say, I guess it's really a question of unwritten social rules and expectations. Indeed, if you want to ensure that everybody has the same expectations, put it in writing. And why you can't control if someone chooses to run off the moment they get the drop, if you wrote it in your party finder window and that you prefer people stick around, then you can decide if you wish to blacklist, ignore, confront that individual. And this takes me back to my Final Fantasy 11 days. Like reputation the fact is you have one care i mean you could have multiple characters but like traditionally majority of people play one character multiple jobs you could end up having a reputation as your character in game to note that yes you have the also on the on the negative side the use of the blacklist the use of the tools to sit here and say no now my blacklist is filled up because before we could rmt report that was the process so i still have a little bit of work to do to kind of go back and try to clean up some of that mess so i wasn't able to friend anybody or blacklist anybody but that just means that's something that i'll have to take care of at some point here in the future of the game itself and i think yeah having it in writing basically leaving it on the field doing your utmost to kind of communicate what the expectation is finding those that are on board and then essentially hopefully developing those relationships so that at some point it's just like hey it turns out 20 of my best friends are online in this game we can go run this content and we can sit here and say, Hey guys, anybody up for three clears of Rathlos today? Uh, I see Soro talking in chat. Like, yeah, one of the, one of the things we're still working on as a team is to get that mount for everybody. And that's one where I got it and I had to loot and scoot, but thankfully we know each other and we've run it multiple times since then, as we continue to try and make progress towards it as a group. And I definitely having already got it, am in. They got me. I'm definitely there because I, I want to make sure that they also get the satisfaction of that drop. And I think that comes from having that 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 connection, that relationship with somebody that's more than just you're a body that I need to fill this role so I can achieve this goal that I've got. Yeah. And, and depending on the content that can this can make more or less sense, something like maps that's quick and infinitely repeatable, mm -hmm. um, setting up groups that run multiple maps to a setting is logical. 
Um, I'm doing housing savage right now while we record this video. Once I get this sign, I love housing savage. I'm never going to do this again. <laughs> I just love it. It's just so wonderful to just click here a sign and just see if I can just click it for 60 hours straight. It's just so delightful. It's so rewarding. I'm going to call Shaman um, again. I'm not, I'm not at all sarcastic. I, I love housing. Savage. I think it was that a hidden phrase. I, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not going to do this again. I'm never going to do this again. Some of you come support me. Some of you come dance here with me. Uh, that's what Brian is doing with that content, but you're also getting to run Rathalos. There's something actually fun about that. Mm -hmm. Not clicking on a placard over and over and over where I'm never going to go inspect other people's placards. Once I get a house, I don't inspect other people's placards now, unless it has a price tag on it. Did somebody uh, make you say that you love uh, yeah. housing? Damage? Okay. Got it. Got it that time. Like last, the last video, man, completely whiffed that one over my head each and every time. All right. That was, that was a fun hint phrase. So, um, obviously I would say that, uh, there's an interesting, uh, like, you know, they're bringing up the cultural difference between JP and NA. And we've seen that happen from time, like time to time, like the party finder versus the duty finder. In fact, they use the duty finder as a method of clearing. So like you kind of brought up extremes, uh, those kind of that, that kind of content where it's like, if you go in and use duty finder, you're expected to have, you know, it, you've done the fight, you've got the clear. Otherwise everybody falls into party finder. And I think that is something that it would be so interesting to see if NA made that shift, if NA made that shift to where it was so heavily reliant on party finder and then duty finder was like, yes, I've cleared this. I know the content and I'm ready to have that kind of fast tracked approach uh, to it. Do you see, I, I don't, I don't anticipate that. Oh, I think that's that. it. I mean, I think that's it. I think we've we've said everything that we could say. <laughs> okay. I, I don't, yeah, that's, it's it's literally just like expectations, set expectations, do your best to live up to them, friend people that are doing it right. And and if you want to blacklist people that are doing it wrong, you can do that. Um, that's the deal. That's the deal. All right. Uh, is there anything else that we need to do before this video to wrap it up? No, no. Thank you, Thalon R. And uh, yeah, got our phrase. All right. For Work to Game, guys, my name is Brian. My name is Chris. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you have a fantastic day and we hope to see you in our next video. But until then, take care.